Yes. All right, welcome back to Breakfast with Kenny Kunani here on Morning Live. That's your favorite song, Kiwant. Yes. Yeah. And and he and he's actually under your record label company. We yes. didn't know that you you own a record <laughs> label company. Yes, uh, New Money Entertainment. Okay. Um, we we do publishing. A lot of young people have come to me to say, "May you please uh, have a recording label? Give us an opportunity." So he's the first one. Uh, we do publishing, licensing, uh, music engineering, but also artist development, marketing, and management. So you're a man of many talents. Yes, of course, yeah. of course. I'm a hustler. Yeah. I don't really see myself as a businessman, but I'm a hustler. But Brecken, just just before you, you you you've been very quiet. I must say that was just mm. before at least the the issue, the painting that you recently bought. Yes. Talk to us about the painting. How did it go about, and why did you decide on on, on purchasing it? Um, the reason I decided to purchase the painting, um, the artist has done paintings before, for me, of me. Um, if you go to my house, it's me all over. I love myself. Uh, I, I, I decided to buy it because uh, if you look at uh, the paintings that have come, nude paintings, have always been about President Jacob Zuma. And they've always been supported by the DA. So my issue was... Uh, it is not just an insult on President Jacob Zuma. It's an insult on every black father So you bought the there. picture to avenge. So to I bought the picture to, to, to see if, it is, if, the, if the nude artwork is about the DA, how, how will the DA respond? But also to have a laugh every day when I wake up. The painting is in my bedroom. In your bedroom? Yes. And how, how do you feel every morning when you wake up to it? Hey, I just smile, eh? Mm. I, I, I just smile. Look, uh, my money's command um, after the painting was a politician's command. I would have loved to hear a personal command. Um, uh, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get that. But the fact that they condemned it when it is them shows the hypocrisy of politicians, of the DA politicians also, uh, because when it's them, they condemn it, but when it's the president, they support it. They even give uh, the artist platforms to go and speak and defend their paintings. Let me just pose my question to you in this manner, yes. Brakin. Do you love controversy? Because you've always been in controversy. You no, you just said I've been quiet. Controversy follows me. I posted a picture on, on Twitter, on my Twitter handle. I didn't come to Morning Life or go to media and say, here's a painting. So it follows you. So controversy follows me. Yeah. I do what I do on my timeline. If you don't like it, unfollow. If you, if you feel that I'll be controversial, don't give me space. Yeah, the reason I'm asking is just that last month in August, you actually showed off a picture of yourself searching for cattle in the free state. And everyone thought Ubra Kenny was getting married. And it, that's why you just left it at, at, at that without explaining anything. But I do ancestral ceremony every year. First week of August, I'm back home where I was born. I slaughter cow for sheep. I feed the whole family. But you didn't that's, explain on your timeline. You that's, my, that's my Thanksgiving. That's why people assume that Ubra <laughs> Kenny is getting married again. <laughs> no, that's not what I thought. Maybe it is the time. Uh, I just didn't have the time to explain more. All right. So do you still believe in marriage? Yes, I believe in marriage. Are you going to get married again in the future? I think so. I think I will. I Have will. you find the love of your life? Yes, at the moment, I, 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 I'm involved with a woman that I love dearly. All right. Now, you've been stirring your life in a different direction. Where is Kenny Kunene going from here? Um, businessman and continue to change people's lives, continue to hustle. Um, maybe in the future, build a family. Uh, I have kids. I've, I've got three kids. I would like to have three or four more. Um, I have been blessed, uh, so I need to to take care of God's children. All right. Can but we still refer to you as the Sushi King? When the public has given you a tag, mm. it can't go away. So I've but appreciated... I it went with what you did at that particular yes, time. Yes, but it will stay your, with your me lifestyle. forever. It will, stay, it, will, it will stay with me forever. But I your meet kings. Has changed. Yes, I meet kings. I meet uh, business people. I meet politicians, even of other countries. And they still love to call me the Sushi King. All right, let's just browse through our Twitter our tweets at Morning Live SABC. Humphrey saying, Dipiri um, Makumutu. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention, and I just want to, people like to say that I'm bitter about Julius when I speak about him. Are you bitter? I'm not. I'm not. When Julius speaks about 
other people about President Jacob Zuma when he spoke about me in his press conference, although he didn't mention a name. No one said that but he was bitter. But why would you think that he was referring but to you when, when, when he was saying we, criminals will remain criminals? But, and, and, and that's what he does. You see, Julius, whatever he criticizes, he is. Tulima Donsela, the same public protector that Julius hails today, found him to be corrupt, found him to be a criminal. He calls people criminals. He calls people corrupt. He even said after he, his court case that there's no criminal bloodline in his family. So he has insulted all men and women who are sitting in prisons. Oh, Bracken, he has I'm insulted afraid, all I'm men and women, those who are morning. outside. That's where we're going to leave us for this morning. But thank you so much for having taken your time out to speak to us this morning. Thank you so much. We appreciate it's it. It's a pleasure. There you have it. That was our first guest here on Morning Life. Breakfast with Ken Yukun. And I keep those tweets coming. We might be able to go through them throughout the show. At Morning Life, SAP. We're taking a break when you come back your eight o'clock news bulletin. Don't go away.